the CNM Seeds Wheat School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. Peter, in terms of uh, seeding rate, uh, a lot of farmers think about uh, uh, pounds per acre, but sometimes that's not the most accurate or the most ideal. What, what, what about seeding rates? Yeah, pounds per acre just drives me absolutely insane, Sean, because it means nothing. Or bushels per acre, two and a half bushels per acre. What the heck is that? If I have 150 pounds of seed and it's 10,000 seeds per pound, that's going to be a whole lot less seed per acre than as if I plant 150 pounds per acre and it's 14,000 seeds per pound. And we get those differences in wheat. In fact, some of the varieties have been as low as 8,000 seeds per pound and some of the other varieties have been up 14,500, almost pushing 15,000. So if all you do is seed seeds, or pardon me, pounds per acre, your seeding rate could vary by as much as 100%. And if you're paying $25 a bag for seed, that means you're either paying far too much because you're overseeding, or you're paying not enough because you're not getting enough seeds out there. So every grower in the province really needs to look at, at seeds per acre or seeds per foot of row. I really like to talk seeds per acre because that's an easy way to calculate back and you calculate backwards so you know that that seeding rate is 135 pounds or 165 pounds or whatever the right rate should be. And seeds per acre, on most soils in the province, we would talk about 1.5 million seeds per acre. On the heavy clays, because we don't get quite as good a growth, not quite as good establishment, it's 1.8 million seeds per acre. Many growers really have trouble with that, that whole concept, kind of like, they, like what is 1.8 million seeds per acre? How do I relate to that? That's really tough. So why are we so stuck? Because this isn't just an Ontario issue. This is an issue across Canada. Why are we so stuck on referring to everything in bushels per acre or pounds per acre in seeding? It's because that was the old way. My dad, when I grew up farming, and I, you know, you'd say, what's the right seeding rate? Dad would say two bushels per acre. No matter the, no matter the moisture conditions, no matter the area, it was, that's what he did. It was two bushels per acre because in general terms, right, when, when back when wheat only yielded 50 bushels per acre in 1948, my dad was proud as a peacock because he made the 50 bushel per acre club in wheat. Well, Lord help us. Now I want to hit 150 bushels per acre. I need to be better than two bushels per acre. And two bushels per acre worked not only for wheat, it worked for barley, it worked for oats, it worked for buckwheat. I mean, everything was kind of in that range. And cereal crops are plastic enough that if you don't hit it exactly right, well, it's not the end of the world. So way back in, in olden days, it was okay. Nowadays, if we want to be in the top end of producers and we want to make the most money possible, then we have to be better than that. And so you could say, well, if I plant on time, it doesn't matter, two bushels, two and a half bushels is going to be enough. It really does matter, Sean, because in Ontario, if you plant on the really early side and you plant too much seed, it gets lots of growth in the fall, you will get snow mold over the winter. And a few years back, we, we got some really good data where we had seeding rate trials planted on the 9th of September. And when we planted 1.8 million seeds or 2 million seeds per acre, we reduced our yield very significantly and in those 20 foot wide strips you could see the snow mold everywhere. We went down to a million seeds per acre and we had no snow mold whatsoever. So there are some ramifications beyond just the cost of the seed and growers need to do those calculations. It's not rocket science, it's really not. It says on the tag how many seeds per pound and you can do that math and work it backward or run your drill and 23 seeds per foot of row is 1.5 million. If you need to get to 1.8 million, it's a 27 or 28 seeds per foot of row. You can run your drill and see that number of seeds per foot of row and actually get yourself where you need to be if you don't like doing the mathematical calculations. What, are, what is the range in Ontario? What is the, the range that we're dealing with here in terms of uh, Yes. Seeds per foot of row. So seeds per foot of row, uh, the range really can vary pretty dramatically. If in fact I'm on a good loam soil and my normal planting date, let, date let's say is October 1st, and I get an early year like this and I have some early planted edible beans that come out of the field on the 5th of September, and I think I'm going to go plant my wheat on the 10th of September because gosh, early planted wheat really, really wins. Well, then I have to pull back all the way to at least 1.2 and maybe even back to a million seeds per acre. So now I'm at about 16 seeds per foot of row. So that's kind of the low end of the scale. 
The other end of the scale is when I'm on heavy clay and it's the first of November and I want to plant wheat so I'm late, late, late. The soil conditions are far less than perfect and then I really want to run at least 2 million seeds and maybe even 2.3, 2.4, 2.5 million seeds. So now instead of 16 seeds per foot of row, I'm ramping up closer to almost 40 seeds per foot of row. So we can get those ends of the spectrum. Realistically, 90% of the time, somewhere between 23 and 28 seeds per foot of row is, is where you want to be.